Del Bates here, Behaviour and Education Specialist. Do you recognise any of these? One example, first example. You've got year two who are more or less sorted now. We're kind of midway through first term and they've kind of got the routine. You've got most kids more or less focused-ish in your lessons. And yet, year one, down the year one corridor is a completely different story. You've got sand out the sand pit, you've got balls out the ball pit, and you've got calculators out of the math sessions. And year one is just really hard to contain. The year one staff are really, really getting worn down. Or example number two could be 10FC, who are doing really, really fantastically in PE with Mrs. Odulupe. And they are starting to get into the swing of it and they're not even complaining about the rain. And yet when they get to Mr. Jones class in maths, they are on the ceiling and there's not much maths getting done. Or it could be, final example, that, that change in the day. So you could have your morning routines really sorted now. You could have, you've maybe done a push on attendance and punctuality and you've got an increasing number of pupils coming in on time. You've got staff now in the routine of the registers and the safeguarding aspect of that. And then lunchtime happens and all hell breaks loose and the, there's chaos everywhere. And by the time the young people get into their afternoon sessions, the teachers are finding it really, really hard work to help get any of the pupils to focus. All of these examples are examples of where we're getting some good behaviour, some of the time, but we're not getting that ever elusive consistency piece. This question, how do you get consistency with behaviour, is one of the most common questions that I get asked. And as such, I'm going to be answering that question in a free workshop next week. How to get positive behaviour consistently in schools. This workshop is for school leaders and for staff anywhere in the world. It's at six o'clock GMT next week, October the 24th. It's free, it's online. Sign up 